hello everyone welcome to my channel today i will be trying out the dtf hack and uh, i will show you how it turns out i will be using two different um, material one is 100 percent polyester and the other is 50 percent polyester and 50 percent cotton So for this project, I will be using my 8550 printer that I converted into a sublimation printer. And also I will be using the DTF transfer film uh, that I bought off of Amazon. Now for the transfer film, you will be printing on the matte side and not on the glossy side. I will be using a piece of tape to tape it to a, a regular printing paper or copy paper that we use for printers um, and I will show you how I tape it to the film and I will be taping the glossy side down on the paper. So when you place the transfer film onto the feeder tray um, make sure it's the side where you place the tape as I'm showing you here. When the printing is done, be careful not to touch the image because the ink is still wet. Um, you will have to apply the DTF transfer adhesive. It's a powder that you also get from Amazon. And I will link everything in the description section. Um, you can apply as much as you want because you can always save it again. You don't have to throw it away once you use it. You just uh, pour um, the powder on top. Make sure that it covers everything that's on that transfer sh uh, sheet or film. And, um, and then save the, the powder again in the bag. After applying the powder, you will have to cure it. So that means you will heat up the heat press at 370 and all you have to do is lay it on the tray and let it hover underneath the plate but do not press it just let it sit there and let it cure for one minute and you will notice a difference in color when you pull out the sheet And now comes the fun part. We get to press it and see how it turns out. So what I'm doing now is just linting the shirt first. And now I'm going to cut the pieces I don't want on there because you will get streaks of ink um, in certain areas of the print. Not always, but you might just because of the rollers. Remember, that this printer is not an actual DTF printer. So when you print it, the rollers grab ink and it'll roll over your the whole image and it will leave black streaks. Like I said, it, sometimes it's very little, sometimes none at all, but sometimes you will. And I did get some and I scraped it off after I applied the powder. I scraped off some of it with uh, a pair of scissors and then also using my nails um, but you can also cut it off like I did and you should not have any problems
Now another thing, after you press the image, you need to let it cool down completely. Do not pull off the film until it's completely cool. And here I am showing you after leaving it for a couple of minutes um, cooling and now I'm able to pull it off. And look how it turned out. It looks a bit shiny, not too much. Um, I like it this way, but I also know that if you repress it for another three seconds, um, it'll take off the shine and it looks much better. I think um, I like it better without the shine, but I do like it both ways. And this is how it turned out. The colors are so vibrant. I love it. I think I'm going to continue doing this. The DTF hack is the thing for me now. Remember to throw away the butcher paper you used to cover it when you repressed it because it will leave an imprint on it and you cannot reuse it. And now let's see how the sweatshirt turned out. So remember, you have to let it cool completely and then pull off gently. So now I'm going to show you how I repress it again to, just to take the shine off because I like it better that way. Um, and I don't leave the heat press on. I turn it off and uh, the heat that is um, still on the heat press is enough to repress it for three seconds and it turns out perfect. Well guys, I think that I am really impressed with this DTF hack. I love the feel, I love the look of it, and I think I'm just going to continue doing it because I am totally obsessed with it. Well, let me know in the comments below um, if you like this DTF hack, if you are thinking about trying it or you already tried it, let me know. I would like to know how it went for you, for me, as for me, I love it and I think it's the best thing ever. Don't forget to like my video if you did like it. Um, don't forget to share it and also don't forget to subscribe because I will have more videos coming up. And thanks for sticking around this long in the video. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.